It happens the same way every time. Hey, everybody, you got a minute? And then a random question pops up like, why didn't you dress up for Halloween? To how is the SEMA show? We're gonna talk about that one today. Never heard of the SEMA show, you're probably not a car guy or a gal because it is an annual pilgrimage for us motorsports enthusiasts to head to Las Vegas to see what's going on in the car scene. So I just got back and wanted to share with you uh, some of my thoughts from the show. So SEMA is a ginormous trade show. It is held at the Las Vegas Convention Center. It takes up all three halls and they have over 100,000 attendees. Uh, I try to go every two to three years and this year definitely did, did not disappoint. It was incredible as always. So really three takeaways from the show. Takeaway one, LS swaps are still a thing. So if you are not a Chevy guy, maybe you don't know, but a thing is taking a Chevy crate engine uh, called an LS motor, taking that LS motor and putting it in anything that you want. And it's become really popular over the last couple of years to drop them in whatever your hot rod build is. So I saw a bunch of cars that had LS swaps. My favorite was a 70 Datsun 240Z that had an LS swap. Uh, the Datsun has my heart, bring, reminds me of my childhood. I always wanted to build one of those cars and I saw a bunch of them out there and it just kind of reinvigorated my love for the Datsun or the Nissan brand, uh, especially, especially when you put a, I don't know, 800 horsepower LS motor in it. All right, second thing that was crystal clear at the show is overlanding is absolutely bonkers out of control. So if you don't know what overlanding is, it's where people are taking these Jeeps, these Toyota Tacomas, and they are taking them off-road and then kind of camping out of them. So they might have a tent on top of their bed. They might have a whole bunch of uh, camper, kind of accoutrement that goes onto it. And they try to put these rigs in really extreme environments. So all the major manufacturers had overlanding rigs in their display. That includes Chevy, GMC, Honda, Toyota, Ford. They all did really cool builds that were highlighted inside their display this year. And it just kind of showed me that overlanding is here and it's here to stay. And then last but certainly not least, one of the big takeaways from the show is electric vehicles are in and they are probably cooler than ever. So there was a bunch of companies showing off their latest uh, parts and pieces to turn any car into an electric vehicle. So if you have a 1960s Ford Bronco, take that old um, combustion engine out and drop an electric drivetrain right into it. That is uh, here and it's offered and it's almost turnkey, it's really slick. My favorite build of the show was a 1985 Chevy square body pickup truck that had a Tesla running gear fitted to it. It was cool. It had a wide body kit. It was slammed. It was really, really badass, but it shows that electric vehicles are here and they're definitely here to stay. Ford was featuring their uh, Mustang Mach-E and they even had a race car version of it out at their burnout area, at their donut area, doing exhibitions. I mean, electric vehicles are cool. So I think that we're gonna continue to see all the major manufacturers highlight more of those in the future in their displays, but I think that we're gonna see a lot of aftermarket parts for them as well. So SEMA is something that uh, I try not to miss. Um, whether I attend it there physically or I'm there virtually, it is a must attend every year. And I'm really glad that I got an opportunity to check it out this year. So I hope you enjoyed this edition of Hey Verlotti. If you want to watch my full SEMA video, I'm working on it right now. It'll be posted in the next uh, couple days at verlotti.com. I'll put it right there on the homepage so you can find it. It'll be SEMA 2021. All right, guys and gals, I hope you found this one interesting and look forward to talking to you again next week. This has been a production of Traction Media Labs where we celebrate the hustlers, the grinders, the go-getters, the men and women that make this country great.